Hello and welcome back to another Pipedrive tutorial by ISAIL Solutions. Uh, this is Matthew Isalis and we're going to be talking about today how each user is able to communicate between team members and Pipedrive users to have effective communication in Pipedrive. At the end of the video, we'll also talk about ways that we're able to communicate with our team members uh, related to Pipedrive, but outside of Pipedrive using other applications as well. So to kick things off, um, the two major ways that you are able to have that inter-team uh, communication and coordination is using notes and activities in Pipedrive. Let's take a look at that. When we jump into a deal here, uh, what we're going to see is that we have the ability to add notes and activities. When you add a note, you have the ability to uh, tag somebody in it using an at mention. So for example, uh, I can tag Matthew Isalis here and say, you know, what do you think about this deal? The reason why you might use at mentions is maybe you're on a sales team uh, where multiple people are involved in the sales process. Uh, maybe you're in a sales uh, position where uh, the manager is involved in the sales process as well. So the manager might tag the normal, you know, pipe drive uh, sales rep uh, using the notes feature or the other way around, right? So what you can add the note here, hit save. And when that happens, what we're going to see is that that pipe drive user will receive a notification up in this section. And in addition to that, they can get an email based on their notification settings in the sales assistant section. So for example, let me tag myself here. So instead of tagging that user, I'm going to tag this one, which is me. So you're going to see that when uh, you're tagged, you're going to receive a notification in the sales assistant section. It'll say like this, uh, the pipe drive user mentioned you in a note on the deal. You can click on that and it'll take them to the notification section right here where it says mentions and you can click on that uh, notification and it'll bring you back to that deal and it'll highlight that uh, conversation where that mention happened at the top of the deal file, right? Now, this gives the other person an opportunity to comment And then once they've commented, they are able to resolve the comment just by hitting close notification. Then that whole uh, kind of communication history will show up down in the done section or the timeline section of pipe drive. And you can just click on the comment section to pull up the, the comment thread and add additional comments. So that's the main way that you are able to um, coordinate within Pipedrive itself with other Pipedrive users using those at mentions and comments in the notes feature. The other way to do it is simply just assigning a task. So this might be where, again, maybe you have multiple people uh, associate, you know, that are involved in the sales process and you want to assign a task for somebody to, um, you know, review uh, the the qualifying criteria for um, for that opportunity, that deal opportunity, or maybe you want to um, assign a, a task for a salesperson to do a follow-up call with the person. So what you can do is, for example, you can type here and say, okay, you know, call the person, it's just called test in this case, make sure it's the right activity, assign it to them in this section down here, right? And hit save. So at this point, what we've done is instead of rec um, recording a reminder for ourselves, we've now uh, assigned an activity reminder for our uh, coworker, right? And then they'll not only be able to see it on the deal file, but it'll show up in the activities list. Talking about that, especially if this is something very common where um, maybe another position is, you know, Pipedrive works has a lot of entrepreneurs as their clients, right? Where they might have um, somebody who's a real estate investor and they might have uh, a couple or one executive assistant. And the executive assistant might come into Pipedrive and schedule activities for that entrepreneur or that investor or whoever it is. Well, if that's the case, we can easily create a filter for them 
right? If we take a look at the filter and say, I want to see all activities that were assigned to me by this person, by my executive assistant, and they're assigned to me. Um, so the way you do that would just be a simple filter of saying the activity creator is whoever that person is, and the activity is assigned to me, or activity is assigned to whoever user it is, right? And when you do that, you can use that, click on that filter each day, and you'll see that list of those activities that are assigned to you from the person that you're, you're looking to see the, those activities from. All right, so that kind of brings it to a close in terms of internal pipe drive communication between team members. You got to add mentions, comments, and you have assigning activities to each other. Apart from that, there's a couple of ways in which um, a, a company can coordinate uh, around instead of inside Pipedrive, around Pipedrive and what's happening in Pipedrive. That's using direct integrations and using third-party integrations using Zapier to tools like Slack and tools like Asana or ClickUp. So I want to give you a quick um, uh, review here or a quick sneak peek how that might look like. For us, for example, in our actual sales pipeline, what we have is when a deal is won in our sales pipeline in our own Pipedrive account, we have this, um, let me minimize myself, we have this channel here called Pipe Drive Managers, and when a new deal is created, it will push this message. Uh, we named it Pipe Drive Bot, and it'll say, "Look, there's a new project for this Pipe Drive Manager. Here, here's the deal. Here's the main contact person and the email. Oh, and in addition to that, here's the direct deal URL, so you can click on that deal and see all the information related to the deal." Similarly, we're able to do the same thing for Asana or for ClickUp. Once a new deal is won in our in our own sales pipeline, what you'll see here is that we have uh, the a, a new task card created in ClickUp in our instance uh, for that new client uh, with a list of information about again who the main contact person is, the direct URL to pipe drive deal, so on and so forth, so that uh, we're able to efficiently share information with the rest of the team or the rest of the organization. And if we have to refer back to the pipe drive deal to see past communications or past notes, we can easily do it using that direct pipe drive deal URL. So uh, that brings us to the end of this tutorial video based on uh, inter-team communication in and around Pipedrive. If you have any questions about that, please reach out to us in the comments, or if you need help setting something up similar for yourself, uh, then feel free to uh, fill out the uh, Pipedrive inquiry form that we have in our description. Please remember to leave a like on this video, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can be aware of when we uh, put out uh, new tutorial videos each week.